everyone and welcome back. Today is going to be all about birthday dresses. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now was that little clip a blast from the past or what? So today I'm going to be recreating a video that I made three years ago over three years ago actually when I first started my YouTube channel this was one of my first ever videos and I really do think this video is the reason my channel is where it is today because that video is on like half a million views for some reason that video blew up and I definitely have that video to thank for me being here right now but anyway that video was an 18th birthday dress haul now three years on obviously I'm gonna be celebrating my 21st birthday so I wanted to share with you guys all the different finds and just everything that I have picked up from every shop with every price bracket, a little bit of everything. Obviously I am a very over the top person, so finding an outfit for my 21st birthday, I'm not going to lie, it has caused stress, it has caused returns and orders and far too much money, but okay so just to mention yes i am wearing the exact ears i had in that video all those years ago and even just watching back the tiniest clip of it it's so crazy to see how much quieter i am on camera how much more reserved and it's just so weird to see how far i've come in three years in terms of my youtube journey my personality and just being comfortable in front of the camera uh, because now I know there's a camera there, but that doesn't affect my tone of voice or any way that I act at all in the slightest. And it's also really funny to look back at that video to just see how much my body has changed. I was 17, just about to turn 18 when I filmed that video. So, you know, I'm definitely not a womanly woman. I don't have big lumps and bumps, but I've definitely got more lumps and bumps than I did in that video. So yeah, it's just so crazy to see how things change. And I definitely had never expected my life to pan out the way that it has. So I'm getting a little bit deep at the beginning I promise I will start the haul but we're in the exact same spot as I was in that video with my shelves behind me and yeah just a little bit of reminiscing so if you've been around since that video please comment down below and let me know because that would just make me so so happy and if you think I look a little bit different that's because for the first time this month I've curled my hair well actually I went to the hairdressers and got my roots done and I've also put on a full face of makeup so you know also in the past I used to always wear false lashes um, and in that video I was wearing falsies and I was going to put them on but then I thought Actually, Mish, you never wear false lashes anymore, so don't do that. So let's start off with a brand that was definitely featured in my 18th birthday dress haul. Because it is a classic, it is definitely a birthday dress kind of place. And that is house of cb so i saw this dress and oh my goodness me me mum, all the girls we all gasped it's stunning it is so me it is this very low we know i love a low cut puffy exaggerated little straplessy sleeve so me goes down to this little weird belt which i'm not gonna lie i'm not really a fan of the black on the nude and then it goes down to this like wrap front skirt now, this dress was £129. We all know that House of CB is not necessarily the most cheap brand, but the quality is there. Like, this all has boning. It is stunningly made. Um, and, I mean, it's just beautiful. I never thought that I would go for, like, a creamy colour, because you guys know me. I am all about the bright. I am all about the bright pink and the bright purple. I'm all about Illuminous. Um, but I just thought this was... Blimey Nord, we just hear mum sneeze. Bless you! You weed yourself. It's great getting older. So, let's pop this bad boy on and show you the first option for my birthday dress scenario situation. Oh, and by the way, as you guys are watching this, I'm currently waking up with the world's worst hangover because although my birthday is on February 26th, I am celebrating over Valentine's weekend in Liverpool with the girls and I'm very, very excited. Um, but as you guys are watching this, that would already have happened. We would have gone on our night out and I will be in bed dying a day, no doubt. But anyway, let's pop on the dress. Okay, so we are going to ignore the mess that my bedroom is because when is it ever not a mess? We're keeping it real here. But, okay, let's look at the top half of this dress. Of course, it's baggy for me on the top half, but are we spotting the problem area already? So, like, I... I just don't think this is flattering on me at all. 
Not to mention the fact I move and my fallopian tubes are out. Now I am not that tall, I'm about five foot six. I don't know whether the sizing on this dress just came up really strange, but I did see a video of a girl wearing it and like dancing and hers was pretty short and I thought even on the model it was quite in a thigh and we all know my thighs aren't my favourite part of my body so if I was going to get any part of my body out this much it would not be my thighs um, the top half, beautiful, I love but it's just, I don't know, I don't think this belt adds I think it, if it was like that I think stunning but as it is, like again, top half, beautiful but like, I literally could not go out like this. Even if I pinned it, it's still so short, which is very irritating. But the thought is there, like, oh, it's so beautiful, but just unless I want my whole fallopian tubes out to the world, which isn't really the sexy vibe I was going for, it's not going to work. Okay, the next brand is definitely a brand that has only been around, like, more recently. It definitely was not around three years ago, unless I've been living under a rock. But that brand is Club London. Can we see? It's got a very similar vibe to House of CB. I would say it's kind of like the cheaper sister or the more more cost effective sister. I thought like the word cheap. I don't like the word cheap. It makes it sound, sound something like it's not very nice quality or it's cheap. But it's, it's not. It's just cheaper. You know what I mean? So I picked up three different dresses from Club London. They did very kindly send them over to me um, as like a little birthday gift. But not sponsored like all the opinions within this video are my own i promise and like if you would have told little misha three years ago that she'd be getting gifted dresses to wear on her 21st birthday she'd have told you to shut the front door and that you were dreaming so crazy but anyway okay let's start with probably the most subtle one um but it is this like blackish golden-y number like look at that shimmer it sparkles beautifully bella lucia was the model on the website and i think that's probably why i picked her up so this dress is let's check the prices because this is online so i'm not 100 percent sure whilst i wait for that to load it is kind of just like God, I thought that was my phone. It was a car out there. It's kind of just like a basic long... Oh my goodness me. Under the light, this looks incredible. Um, long sleeved, like full neck little mini dress. It does come with the belt so you can like cinch the waist. And this is kind of like a style of dress that's come really popular. And I do really like it because I think it's really flattering for all body shapes. And this dress was 55 pounds but let's pop it on and show you the more subtle version of misha okay so i put the hair up for this because i just felt like it kind of goes with the dress you know you know when something's like a little bit like shouldery you feel like hello camera okay so this is probably the most unmeek although it's not subtle it is subtle let me know down below do you think this is subtle i feel like most people probably won't think this is subtle but we know me and subtlety don't really go together but as we can see shines beautifully then i've got the belt on and then you just pull this a little bit and then it comes down i haven't done up the back but you know it's fine we get the gist it's very sparkly i do think it's like a good go-to dress okay so we then go into the complete other side of the non-subtle and non-bright color or a bright color spectrum i have another dress from club london so we have this bright pink number now it matches perfectly to my disney ears oh my god i just realized when i got these ears we're not gonna go there we're not gonna go there okay so this dress is like a one shoulder ruffled sexy little cinch number they have this in quite a few different styles like there's some that are like a strapless with the ruffle details and like an off the shoulder vibe as in like you know those those kind of ones can't remember the technical term. This is a one shoulder, and I just thought this was the most impact, the most va va voom. So I am totally obsessed with this. It is quite a summery vibe because of the colour, because of the fabric, but I don't think that's a bad thing. This bad boy was £65, which for a dress of this quality, of like this amazingness, is really quite a reasonable price. Um, there's nothing mega cheap in this haul because I do feel like it's a 21st birthday dress. I want it to be special. I want it to, you know, not break during the night because in case you didn't know, on my 18th birthday, my dress snapped and I had to get my mum to go back and get me a new dress and then change in the club toilet. Classy as per usual, something's never changed. Wow, wow, wow is all I have to say about this dress. I've kept the hair up for this one again because we've got the one shoulder. 
So can we see how sassy this one shoulder is? So we've got all this area out and then we come down to the skirt. It's just like a normal tight fitting, kind of like layered, similar tulle fabric. But just honestly, this dress is insane. I can't like imagine this in a long version for like bridesmaids dresses i don't know why my head always goes to weddings i can't help it it's just a thing but just amazing stunning love the color obsessed with it this ruffle is just so sick um when i first put it on i was like is it not going over my, like, what have I done wrong? Is my bum too big? Actually, I just accidentally had the zip on the complete wrong part. But the zip is at the back. I haven't actually fully done it up because mum is currently next door in the bath and I don't want to disturb her every five seconds. But stunning, lovely, obsessed with it. So sassy. And imagine, like, the side shot photo for the ground. Like, hello, everyone. I'm here. And then the final dress from Club London is this little number. Now they do this in a baby pink and a white, but I thought a white was like a little bit different for me. Um, so I've seen so many people on this, on this, in this, and I love it. They also do a maxi version, but it is this strapless, like faux feather detailed wrap over with more faux feather and a slit and this beautiful satin fabric and you know i don't normally like a satin um because it's really tight around the stomach and it's not very flattering not very forgiving but this is like it beautifully hangs oh it's just absolutely blinking stunning like if I was a bride, I would so wear this for like my hen do or something, just to anyone out there that's getting married. Um, it's just an idea. Uh, but no, honestly, stunning, stunning, stunning. I think they might also do this in a black, but I just thought, you know, go for the white, it's a bit different. I'm a birdie! Okay, so this dress is just so stunning. I think it's so flattering. Here we have the top. Now, it is a little bit like, you know, I'm not wearing a strapless bra. Um, I don't have the biggest boobs to hold it up, but it definitely is still holding up okay. Like, I could jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up and get down and be absolutely fine, which is great. Um, I love the little feather details. And then we come down to the skirt part. As we can see, it's got this kind of like Grecian draping. Um, and then it's got the feathers, which makes sure that you don't flash anything, which is great. Um, because normally dresses with slits are so slitty. And then this is what the length is like. It is quite long on that side, but I think that's nice to A, have like the dip hem and the contrast, but also because quite a lot of this leg is out, like not a lot of that leg is out. Um, but no, this dress is honestly the sweetest thing. And then at the back, it's kind of a little bit like dip hem, but not as much because obviously it's not gonna be like your whole entire bum cheek out. But no, so stunning. It could maybe do with a belt just to like break it up a little bit. Um, but beautiful. I love it. Stunning. Classic. Great, great find. Okay, probably now I'm going to go to the cheapest dress of all of the options. And this I actually um, filmed already in my Shein haul from like two weeks ago. And then when I tried it on like properly, I was like, oh my God, I might wear this for my birthday. So I ended up editing it out of that haul to feature it in this one. Um, so it is this. Now it is the cutest dress ever. And we know how much I love Shein. Like I had to feature one of their items as an option because it's just so adorable so it is this turquoisey light blue like cupcake puffball dress this is a literal like cupcake puffball um it has like an across straight uh neckline and then these little straps i love this kind of neckline i think this would be so beautiful on a wedding dress again i'm not getting married i just think like that i'm a weirdo um and then it goes down to the waist it is a little bit baggy on my waist so i do need a belt um but then it has this little puffball and it's just the sweetest thing like omg so cute love the color a little bit different um it's not too short it's not too long it's just perfect and it's also a very reasonable price and something a bit different like i i can't decide whether i want to be like sexy or cutesy um because i'm naturally not someone that leans towards sexy i'm more cutesy but then i'm like it's my 21st birthday do i go sexy but then i see things like this and i'm like oh my god no misha go cutesy so yeah 
I'm a little teapot, short and spout. Don't pull me open because I don't want to know what comes out. So here we have the adorable little turquoise number. Just look how freaking cute it is. I feel like I'm going to my sweet 16. Oh god, my curls have gone very sausage. We know I'm not a sausage curl fan. But, okay, the straps are a little bit long for me, but they are adjustable. If we added a belt, can we see just how adorable it is? Yes, it's not the most, like, figure-flattering dress, but it's so cute. I love the low back. Like, honestly, there's not more you could want. I feel like Elsa, I feel like a Disney princess. It's great. I feel like I'd be bouncing around the club and just loving life. So, this is definitely a real contender. Um, do I go cute? Do I go sexy? Please let me know. Because this is freaking adorable. Yes. Look how beautiful the fabric is. And also, eat as much as you want and drink as much as you want and no one can tell. Let's go to the brand that I ordered the most pieces from and is actually the most expensive. So I did pop on to Revolve. Now, in case you guys didn't know, Revolve is an American based like brand and company. I would kind of call them like an online uh John Lewis sort of thing. I know John Lewis is online or like Selfridges, the American version. So they don't have a store, but they're online and they have their own brand. Actually, it's more like a bougie ASOS, come to think of it. But they do sell some of the same brands as ASOS because there is a lot of different um price points on Revolve. But I just thought it was a really nice place to try out some pieces. In the past, I have got gifted stuff from them, but this I literally bought with my own money. Um, and trust me, it was a very expensive order. Let's not go there. The entire order was £811. Yes. Okay. Let's start with the most expensive of the Revolve dresses. So, again, I had to pick up some more pink. This is the cutest, sweetest thing. This dress is £233, reduced from £374. And it's by the brand... Oh, it's Poppy Dress in Pink Lavender. I don't really know what that means. But it's by V. Chapman. Don't know who they are, but they produce pretty dresses. So, this is the number. It is just this kind of, like, lacy, underwear-inspired dress. Again, it has these little straps. As we can see, I'm a real big fan of a thin strap. I think it's really flattering, as we can see. Um, and then it goes down to, like, this bra detailing. Then it goes down to the corset waist. It even has a lace-up corset on the back. And then it has this stunning peplum. And then it goes down to... The the skirt like honestly so so cute i feel like it would even be cuter if this peplum was like the actual shape of the bottom bit um but you know me i love a peplum i love pink i love lace i just think it's so sweet is it worth 233 pounds that's a lot of money but if you've got the money to spend i do not <laughs> i'm trying to save over here but you know 21st birthday and all but it is quite a pricey piece this dress is being in sexy bag. Hey, go and tell them of a skinny. I'm not going to finish that song actually because I think it's quite rude. Okay, so I feel very sexy. Look at this boobage this dress is creating. I have done the corset, but basically I've accidentally uns like strung some of the strings um, whilst putting the dress on, and obviously I can't really reach on the back to do it. But you can see the dress and okay last time i tried this dress on i liked it now i really really like it i think it could do with a belt of some sort just to kind of knit me at the waist a little bit more but also to mention currently have no underwear on just to let you know i had a pair of gray calvin klein pants on and you could really see them because this part is all see-through mesh so is this part and then this part has some nude lining but I feel like it's a very kind of like vintagey, sexy underwear outerwear vibes. And I really, really like it. Obviously, it is a lot of money, um, but it is beautiful. And like these little straps. Oh, I really, really like it. Why do I have to like so many pieces? Like this is just making it so much harder to make a decision. But yeah, this little peplum is such a cute little added touch. Okay, next up, we have the biggest hot mess from this entire video, sadly. One of the most expensive pieces, I'm pretty sure this dress was like 170, 198 pounds for this piece of hot mess. 
Now this is kind of my fault because I ordered it in a small and I should have got it in an extra small. But when I was scouring the internet for my dress, um, my sister also got involved and she sent me this dress and I was like that looks pretty don't know if I'd wear it for my birthday but I'll try it anyway um, and let's just say it's quite a comical one so it is a dress shape that I do really really like I find this dress shape really flattering I love a neckline that comes up around here because I just think you know I really like my shoulders I think it's just a really nice elegant silhouette wow look at me racking out the um, technical terms an elegant silhouette so Yes, elegant silhouette, and then it has all this like rouging flower details, and then it floats out in this truly fabric. It's a very good quality dress, I will give them that, to this like puffy, floaty skirt. Then it is like basically completely bare at the back, so it is still sexy even though it is loose, but I'll just let you guys see in the try on like. It's just not a vibe on me. It's just not a vibe on me. You know, we live and we learn. Okay, so we can probably see just from me standing here the problems with this dress. Maybe if I added a belt, it could look great. But right now I look like I'm six months pregnant and trying to hide it on my 21st birthday. I am not, I would like to announce. So, yeah, I love, like, the neckline. It's a little bit itchy, I'm not going to lie. And I do think it's a little bit thick. I think it would have been nicer if it was a bit thinner. But it is a beautiful idea. It's just really not well executed because I literally look like a treehouse. A bright pink treehouse at that, but still a treehouse. So, close, but very very far sadly Merp. okay actually i say the biggest hot mess was that one i actually don't like this one either which is quite funny that my least favorite dresses are from the most expensive place so it just proves that just because something's expensive doesn't mean it's nice um no offense to revolve like i love revolve but just some of these pieces aren't me so this is 178 pounds and it's from majorelle now in the photo the fabric looks so different on camera the photo looks so much better so it must be the sort of fabric that reacts well to a flash but in person i'm sorry but it looks cheap like it actually looks cheap it also looks very big for a size small um it might be one of those dresses that are very deceiving and actually it's really not but i really liked this top half of it i love these ruffles i love the pink oh my god so far every single dress i've got from revolve is pink wow um and i just i don't know i just really am not a fan i haven't tried this on so i don't know yet but we'll see in the try on i think it's got a nice idea but i just don't think this shape is going to be flattering i don't think the buttons necessarily go with the fabrics you know it's just i think you could do better for 178 pounds if you're asking me do i think this dress deserves the stick that i gave it no do i still not love it yes so this top half I think is absolutely stunning. Again, under the camera, it looks so shiny. But like this bottom half, A, I don't think it's that flattering. B, it's like really baggy on the bottom half. Um, but it, I mean, to be fair, it's really baggy on the top half as well. So yeah, I still think like if it was, sh it's also quite long. It needs to be shorter, it needs to be tighter, but it's definitely not as bad as I made it out. So I'm sorry, dress. You are much nicer than I thought. Um, I just can't believe how beautiful this fabric looks under the camera light, but then I feel like in person it just looks cheap rather than like sheeny. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a sack, but we get the idea. And again, I am obsessed with this colour and this detailing. Like this is a really beautiful like in between pink and lilac. Pinky purple, you know what I mean. And oh, they're fake buttons. Yeah, it doesn't actually do anything okay and then the last dress i got from revolve has its problems as well wow we're on a winner here so i picked up this dress because i'm obsessed with this color <gasps> look at it i think it looks stunning i think it looks so expensive now you know that whole thing what came first chicken or the egg i don't know because you know the o poly dress that is this kind of shape you guys know, like, the, the black and the baby pink one. Stunning dress. Everyone wore it. I loved it. G had a photo in it. Stunning, beautiful, lovely. Now, I don't know whether that came first or this dress from Majorelle came first. The likelihood is that this came first. But I'm not going to start pointing fingers because I don't know, frankly. But this dress was £134, reduced from £188. And the colour is just incredible. The only problem is they only had this in an extra small. And 
it's quite a small extra small let's say because my mother who is a very petite lady could not even get it up and that just kind of proves how small it is so the likelihood of me getting this over my bum cheeks is very 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 slim but i still want to show you because just like look at the volume in those shoulders so much sass i really liked the original color we know i like to go for something a bit different and i felt like this was it but if it's not going to do up i can't exactly go out on it and they didn't have a small in stock so unless they magically brought back a small in stock i think it's out of the game oh M G in a twist of events, the green dress has done up. I honestly don't know how, I'm not gonna lie. Um, because it looked tiny and like mum couldn't get it over her hips. But I think the thing is, I have smaller hips than mum, but I have a much bigger bum. So, okay, it would need some work if we were to go ahead with this option because the boobs are really big for me. Like, I can literally take my hands out and make this dress strapless, which obviously is not a vibe. But if this was tighter and I wore chicken fillets and I had boobs in it, do we think it could be a vibe? I know it's quite an expensive one, but it's definitely a statement. Oh, I don't know, I need your help, but I'm gonna have already decided by the time this video goes out. But no, the color is stunning. Like, look at that. And it snatches me in, that's for sure. Don't know what it looks like when I eat, but then I also feel like my food would have nowhere to go because it's so tight, so. That's the thesis, but I love having all this area out. It just needs some major tightening to like fit my lack of chest. So yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, now onto the final brand. We have Opoly, which again is like a more affordable House of CB. Not taking anything away from House of CB. Like I absolutely love their pieces. They just are quite expensive. Um, but I think of Opoly as a slightly like younger version. Um, so I have got three dresses from Opoly. Um, and the first one is in a colour again that I would never normally wear. And Kobe is obsessed with this dress. I don't know why, but he is obsessed with it. So is this bad boy. Now again on House of CB and Opoly, we've seen, or is it just Opoly? It might just be Opoly. We've seen a lot of this like side tassel detail and I really, really like it. And I love the dress that again G has worn. Um, and it's like a black high neck with it just down one, is it both thighs or is it one thigh? I can't remember. But I felt like the plain black um, was just too like plain for my birthday you know i feel like i just couldn't wear i saw so many nice black dresses but i feel like i just couldn't wear black on my birthday i feel like that would just be a crime um not against anybody else but just personally me i'm such a over the top bright colored wearer that i just feel like it wouldn't be me so i loved this navy color it's like a strapless little number with the boning and then it comes down and it's on the both sides um obviously this dress is quite heavy just to put that out there um and these weren't the cheapest actually i say that it's a cheaper house of cb but i'm pretty sure like most of these dresses were like 90 quid or something sorry this dress was 65 pounds um and yeah it's in this navy i just thought you know let's try something different and the, the fabric's beautiful the color's beautiful what's not to love i'm for some navy okay so here we have this one now it's actually quite a long dress um, I don't know if it feels like a long dress because these slits are so high, but I do love the fact that although they're very high, in a similar way to the white feather one, um, they don't actually really show anything unless you really shimmy, which I think is great. The only problem for me is this being a strapless and me not having much to support it is it's very like baggy around my waist. Um, and of course it's satin, so not necessarily the most forgiving, but this colour does then make it, but I feel like it needs some sort of belt or something to break it up. But then a belt would be far too much with the tassels. So I do love, love, love it. But I don't know, does it need something or is it just great by itself? I don't know if maybe I need like a smaller size to suck me in more. Um, but the booby situation is definitely not a go-go, but like the sass I feel, you're probably getting a little bum cheek flash, but that's fine because it's only a little bit. So you know, hunky dory there, but it is beautiful and the color looks so expensive. 
Then I kind of got its orange sister. I got its overly tanned sister. So I picked up this bad boy. Now this dress has some problems. There are some threads hanging out. I don't know if you can see that there and then also when i have tried it on because spoiler alert i tried this on one of the details here ripped so this is very similar in style because it has the tassel but on this one it's just the one shoulder and the neckline is completely different um it is more like a crisscrossy it also does come with straps if you want that as an option in like this silver sparkly detail if you did want to pop straps on um, because obviously the blue one is strapless so this one has both options um, and they call this a rust color which i'm not gonna lie it sounds minging the color rust doesn't sound great my oranges bring all the boys to the yard there's my boy in my yard anyway so here we have this little crusty orange number um, I wish you'd wear the navy thanks. blue one. I literally have told everyone that you're obsessed with the navy blue one, and I don't like the navy blue so one anywhere near as much. Anyway, pipe down, your opinion is irrelevant. <laughs> it's not, but it's not as relevant as mine, considering I'm wearing the dress. So, okay, here is the orange number. As we can see, it's quite, like, loosey-goosey at the top for me, uh, because I don't have the straps on. Um, but personally, I just don't like the straps on it. I don't know why. Also, I'm realising you literally can't even see see me right now which is great but i love the one shoulder i feel like you notice the detail more actually when it's on the one side um but a bit like a dress you're about to see there's a problem in which like the fabric change then creates like a ruffle so like i'm like could a belt cover it i'm honestly not sure but i think the color is stunning um and it's also a very comfortable dress like i'm not like oh my god i literally can't walk um which I am in some of the others. But again, it's one of those dresses that when you eat, won't necessarily look the best, but I'm like, just get over it, Misha. Like, nobody else notices it. It's just you. We live and we learn. And then the final dress is another Opoly one. And this was actually worn by Paige on Love Island. Literally, I tried it on, and then the next day she wore it, which did make me have a giggle. And of course, the final dress I'm showing you is pink that's what's happy lapping so it has this beautiful detail at the top i love this it's very like sexy retro vibes and makes you kind of think of um a playboy bunny i don't know why maybe it's like the corset details but i am really liking these new like corset style dresses that are becoming fashionable because i just think you know who wouldn't want to create like a corseted you know that shape it's gonna be flattering yes so it's quite like a simple dress for me. Like it's very straight up and down just with the corset boning. Um, and I just thought I'd try something a little bit more like, like it's kind of like bam in your face because of like the shape, but then it's not bam in your face because it's got all these extras. Um, but I just thought it was really pretty. And you know, Paige from Love Island's wearing it and she's with Finn and I think Finn's beautiful. So, you know, if me and Kobe don't work out, Finn, give me a call. I've got Paige's dress. Basically the same girl, also blonde, can't sing, definitely not Scottish, but can do a Scottish accent when I'm around my best friend for too long who's from Scotland. Just a wee bit. A wee bit. Okay, so, final dress. Now, Kobe has since arrived and he's like, oh my god, you look so nice in dresses like this. Why don't you ever wear them? And this is the reason why, because once I have some foot in me, I blood like a pregnant lady. But anyway... So, here we go. This dress is very va va voom. I'm feeling like a Malibu Barbie, but like a sexy casino playing version. Um, again, I absolutely love this bit up here. I think it creates a really nice shape. The only problem is that because like the corseting detail is only to there, and then it has the actual like pattern, but it doesn't actually have the corset, that can you see that like where the corset cuts the fabric doesn't know what to do um so there's boning until there and then it kind of loses it so i don't know like it's not the biggest problem but i'm the sort of person that notices things like that but here is it from the back here is it from the side here's it from every side these actually come quite under my armpits um i don't know why i don't think maybe because like my boobs aren't filling them i really don't know but I do really like it. It's very sultry vibes. Okay, anyway. Now, the final few things I have are shoesies because 
you know, your girl needs some shoes for her birthday. So Simi Shoes did actually send me over two of my picks. And, oh, the house, the oh poly dresses. I'm so bad with prices. I'm so sorry. So the, the sick colour one was £60 and then the pink one was £52. So they are more reasonably priced than I thought, actually. For some reason, I thought they were like 90 So, pick up some Simi shoes. Now, these ones are hard to miss. Do I know how practical these would be to go out in? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but they have these in loads of different colours. And I just thought, like, feather heels, you know, it's a statement. If you end up wearing one of the more simple dresses, then, you know, then I thought this would go perfectly. That's the wrong foot. So they've just got, like, a clear heel. And then they go to this neon pink fluff. And I just thought they were fabulous. They come in loads of different colours, but shock, Misha had to get pink. Um, and just what's not to like. I also think Simi Shoes is a very reasonably priced shoe brand. Um, and they are great for like your clubbing shoes because we've heard me go on about like, I don't have a go-to pair of clubbing shoes, which is quite a nuisance, I'm not gonna lie. Like I really don't have any clubbing shoes. So if you'd leave recommendations down below, that would be great. And then the second pair are some va va -voon. They are some birthday Sparkle. Okay, so very high heel. I both got these in a six. Um, and then let me just unwrap. Oh god, I've got like pink feathers on them. So it is a silver shoe. Now we know I'm more of a gold person, but for some reason, like I feel like all dresses come with silver, so I don't really get a say. So I'm just going with silver. Um, don't tell Kobe because he hates me for liking gold. Um I've got gold rings, I've got gold earrings, but I've got a silver necklace because my boyfriend got me a silver necklace and I'm very grateful for it. So, you know, I just might sneak off and dip it in gold. <laughs> so, okay, these are the shoesies and they are just this silver, like, fully crystalled detail. Some of you might think these shoes are tacky. I think they're great. So, that's what I'm going to do. Think. And everything. And then they have this, like, lace-up detail that wraps up the leg and just they are a statement and a half so again if i wanted to go for something a bit more subtle or if i wanted to not they'll go it's perfect so i'm going to wrap up this birthday haul i hope you guys have enjoyed and got some inspiration whether that be for you know the next girls night out your holiday your next birthday your anything your party your anyone's you know there's so many occasions to dress up and i think it is really special to have those times where you just you know you just glam up and you feel really i don't know a bit different because maybe not every day you put in that much time into your appearance and you know it's fine to sometimes do that and slap on that makeup and stick on those false lashes because that is exactly what i will be doing on my 21st birthday not because i I think it's gonna make me more beautiful but just because i think it's a bit of fun and that is exactly what makeup is that's what clothes are they are a way of expressing yourself and yeah so let me know down below what is your guys favorite um hopefully you'll agree with what i actually end up going with and spoiler alert if you want to know what i went with then head on over to my instagram because no doubt i will have been posted a photo um so yeah that's basically all i've got to say i will link all the items down below and happy um sunday happy misha's hungover happy it's actually still two weeks until misha's actual birthday wow i'm having a month-long birthday apparently so i will leave you guys to your pit make sure to do a like and subscribe and yeah i love you guys lots and thanks for the best three years of my life so bye guys mm -hmm.